pretty much everything eats a 20 gram metal slug. They're one of the cheapest and most effective lures that you can use for pelagics. I'm gonna put this out on eight pound and let's have some fun with some bonito. So this is a little 3000 size reel with, I think it's got eight pound braid. This is a 12 pound liter. There's heaps of bonito, so might as well just drop it to some lighter gear, have some fun and you never know might get smoked by a big tuna but that's all part of the game isn't it what do you reckon eight pound line 12 pound liter oh damn you put a light set up too yeah also, i'm just out that way this is gonna be fun all right I'm, i'll cast off here All right, this is gonna be fun. Just 20 gram slug and Benito. So just letting it sink pretty deep. Maybe count to about 20 seconds and get it somewhere down near the bottom. And then really just wind it as fast as you can. And See what happens. Oh, come on. Oh, something was chasing it then. These things cast a mile, and if you're just getting into bonito fishing, it's definitely an effective and affordable lure to use. All right, take two. I think speed is the key. It's a little fleeing bait fish. Oh, come on. Oh. Looks like it's gonna take a few casts. Jack's feeling pretty good. The water is looking really good. Come on. Come on. Yep, there we go. On, on, on. Whole different story on light gear. Oh, come on. Gotta keep that pressure on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Just another little bonito, but much harder with the light gear. Come on. Tiny little bonito. Come on, wash it up. <laughs> little mini bonito. Look at that thing. Well, that's a start on the little 20 gram. Tiny little bonito. Just to give you some perspective, it's, there's my hand. It's, Tiny. Let this one go and keep spinning. All right, beautiful little bonito. It's definitely one of my favorite fish. Back in the water. All right, I think I can tighten this drag a little bit. Felt a little bit too light. Um, Want to be able to put some more pressure on whenever I catch.
Fun though. Love fishing with the light gear. Yeah. Not even two seconds in. Like, really? I didn't even, I didn't even like... Wow. All right, maybe they're on the surface. Just try and keep it up high. Yep. Oh, yep. There we go. Nice surface eat. There we go. Johnny running down that way. I'm running down that way. Whew. When they run towards you, you gotta really wind fast to keep that line nice and tight, otherwise you drop them. Oh, nice fish this one. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, it's getting chased by kingfish. Oh, nope. Couple kingies on this one. Oh, it's all lit up. Oh, come on. Oh no, dropped it. Damn it. Right there. Seems like they're right in that, in the top of the water column which means that I'm not gonna let this sink for very long. Maybe five seconds. And then just start winding it. If they're up the top feeding, then better to stay up high. Oh, what's going on here? Some nice little kings too, circling that one. Come on. Yep. Set the hook a bit better this time. Come on, swim away from that ledge. Come back down here. All right. Come on, on this wave, on this wave. Go, go, go. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Nice little bonnie. All right, it's um, about 46, 47 centimeters. All right, I'll process this one and get back spinning again. Set that hook. There we go. That's a bit better. So this light line, it's a bit harder to set the hook. Maybe the hooks aren't sharp or something that I haven't paid attention to. Nice little tail beats. Oh, where is it? Hard with these waves. Right there, on the surface. Maybe this next wave. Oh. Beautiful little bonito. Another little bonnie on the metal. I'm gonna let this one go. Get this bonito back out. Beautiful bonnie. I've been letting it sink to about 10 and that's been working pretty well. Damn, I dropped a couple big ones, but got the uh, couple of smaller ones. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. It's got to set the hook properly with the lighter line, I find. Spinito is so fun on this light gear. 
come on. Super hard with the waves though. You just don't have that leverage. Oh, that's a king. It's a little king. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Little mini king. Oh. Little kingfish decided it wanted to eat the 20 gram metal. It's nice to get a little kingy. Beautiful little fish, aren't they? All right, let's get it back in the water. A little mini kingfish. Get this one back in the water. Let it grow up into a big metery. Oh, yep, yeah, oh, yep. Yeah. There we go. Set that hook. That's a better fish. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> Keep the line tight is the main thing. Uh, this something a bit bigger, eh? Oh, come on. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. <laughs> Set that hook. Oh, come on. Really hard to keep him off the rocks. Come on, try and rub its face, rub it, the line on its face just to irritate it a bit, try and turn it away from the ledge. Oh, come on, get out of there, mate. Where are ya? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What is it? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. This thing's smoking me, whatever it is. Just trying to keep this line off the barnacles. Hi. Here we go. Come on. Can't rush it. Oh, right there. Right on the barnacles. Oh, so much pressure with that water. I'm under. Huh? I'm under. Thanks, Ray. I'm all good. Come on. Just got to get it up. Get it tired. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, don't do that. Okay, here we go. This wave, maybe. Oh. oh! No, no, no. Just snap my rod. Oh! <laughs> That's a good bonnie. The rod snapped. Oh, your rod snapped? Yeah, yeah rod snapped. Oh, yeah. Just tried to, I tried to lift it and it just snapped. Um, yeah, well, it looks like that's the end of the light spinning session. That was so fun. It's a good bonnie. Got grey just stuck all through my cleats. It's like, oh, gotta cut that. Measure this bonnie up. Yeah, about 47, 48 centimeters. It's a good bonnie. Oh, well, that's the end of that session. Broken rod. So much fun though. Eight pound braid, 12 pound leader, and just that little 20 gram slug. They're deadly, really good. Just found that if I counted to 10, it would sort of just get perfectly in the zone. I think that's what you want to do. You want to try like, let it sink for five, let it sink for 10, let it sink for 15, let it sink for 20, and then just see what works on the day. Today was 10 seconds, letting it sink for 10 seconds work really well. And then just wind it as fast as you can. Um, really cheap, really effective lure. So much fun. All right, catch you next time. See you.